Hey, what's going on guys? This is Marlon with Fishing Addicts Northwest. We're out here on an Oregon coastal river a little bit farther south doing some twitching for some coho. We got a nice one right here that we caught a little bit earlier. Um, a lot of people have been asking us questions, you know, asking how we're doing this twitching, what works, what to use, all that kind of stuff. I've heard people talking about how they're accidentally snagging fish and there is a technique to it. I don't claim to be a master at it. I've only been doing it a couple years, but we've been being pretty effective at it. So uh, let's chat about it and I'll teach you guys some techniques. All right, so first off, let's talk about the rod. What we've been using is Lamaglass came out with this, uh, they call it the Twitch. It's dang near perfect for what you need for this, this technique. Um, you want a little bit shorter rod. Essentially what you're doing out here is this is almost like bass fishing for salmon. You're casting into logs, you're letting it fall, you're dropping, you're, you're doing tons of little techniques. So we like to have a nice short rod so you can get up where you want to be and get, get into your spots that you need to be in. This rod right here is a 7, 9, 8 to 17, so it's got plenty of backbone, plenty of power. Um, spinning reel doesn't matter. This is one of the Dawa's new ballistics. They're pretty, pretty awesome reels. Quantum smoke on that rod, so there's plenty of different uh, setups you can go with, but I would recommend getting the lamb glass, the twitch rod. It's, it's really nice and perfect for this technique. Um, as far as line goes, what we're doing is we got 14 pound braid, and then we're putting uh, a mono bumper on it. It doesn't matter the pound test. I like to stick to 15 to 20 somewhere in that zone um, Especially when the water's clear like it is today We like to use the bumpers just so the coho aren't seeing your braid flipping through the water <clears throat> So that's basically what you're gonna do for rod now. Let's talk about jigs Tons of different jigs out there tons of companies making them. We prefer the arrow jigs You there you can get them everywhere. That's one of the reasons I love them You can pretty much walk into any store and you can find them the other reason is they are really quality jigs. Um, I, I like the half ounce. They make them in three eighths, but I really do like the halves. They seem to fall nicer and, and get a lot more uh, reactive twitch when you're on your rod with the, the heavier jig. This is my favorite color. This is the, the number nine pattern. I really like this jig. It's just got a pink head, all purple body, some nice purple rubber legs, um, but there's tons of different patterns. Honestly, I don't think color matters too much. I think it's more of a reaction kind of strike. Um, but like I said, everyone's gonna have their favorite colors just like they do for steelhead jigs. So my recommendation would be to go out and just get them all, because that's what I do. I usually buy a couple of each color, figure out which one I like best, and then I'll go back and buy 20 of that one. <laughs> so you can do it do it however you want. Like I said, there's tons of different companies making them, but I really do like the arrow So jig. now let's get to the fishing portion of it. <clears throat> like I said, I'm no master at this. I know there's a lot of guys that have been doing it for many more years than me. But we've been pretty effective at it the last two years, so I thought I'd give you guys a video and show you how we're doing it. The key to this, I think, is just there's tons of different ways you can twitch. There's tons of different methods you can use. So what I like to do is just switch up my action. So basically, like I said, you're kind of bass fishing these things. So you're, you see we've got some overhanging trees, a nice little run right here. So what we're going to do is cast back into this little bucket back in there. And then what you do is you just let it sink a little bit, and just you're just giving it this sort of action, just like you're twitching like a bass jig. Let it sink, let it drop down in the hole, give it a nice twitch. You're just, you're really just kind of, just like that, a nice, basically, one twitch, quarter turn with your reel. One twitch, quarter turn with your reel. One twitch, quarter turn with your reel. Okay, so the key, like I said, really is just switching up your method. So we didn't get a bite on that try. So let's just keep working the hole, get it back in there, let it fall. Let's try a little bit faster twitch. So now you're keeping it a little bit higher in the water column and you're doing a little bit faster twitch. Okay, no bite again. So like I said, what there's really no rhyme or reason to how that's done. I, th I don't think these coho are like sitting there looking at this thing for too long. They're just hitting out of just pure reaction. So if you get it right in one of their faces, odds are they're going to nail it just like they would a wiggle ward or a spinner or any sort of lure that you're throwing at them. I think the biggest key is just let it sink, let it get down in the strike zone. I prefer more slower twitches like this. You're letting it sink, you know, you're doing a quarter turn with the reel, just really let it do its thing down in there. And that's kind of really all there is to it. There, it's not a really hard way to fish. The biggest thing is just kind of the casting you see you want to get back into areas like that how you're way back in the hole really get back in there and get these fish where they're going to be sitting they like to be in logs they like to be in structure they like to be in nice little coves where they can get out of the current 
<clears throat> so that's all there is to this and it's a really effective method there's tons of different ways to do it like I said tons of different jigs I really like the lamb glass twitch rod so I, I definitely recommend there is some B-Run coho showing up in a lot of these different rivers now so get out there give this a try twitch in it's really fun way to catch them really effective Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's right down here in the corner of the screen. Subscribe. There'll be more videos coming, and we'll see you on the river. Thanks. We're going to cast back in there again. Oh, my God. Cut that.